All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. And I got my big red EDC hat on and we are ready to roll. Got lots of stuff laid out over here. Uh, oh, look at that. I got to move Ren and Stimpy here real quick so you can see them. Hold on. And Powder Toast Man fell down. There we go. So there we go. Say hi to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV. And let's get started. Hey, guys. Man, there are a lot of get, a lot of folks in the chat already. We got Monster Racing, Andrew Hobbard. Uh, we got Rising Grind with Duke. We got Rick. Uh, we got RJ's nice. Welcome, RJ. I don't think I've said anything to you yet. Nebula Cloud, thank you, buddy. Uh, Ethan, man, it's almost time for boot camp, but I am so glad you are here. Um, who else am I missing? I think that's all. Manny Z has now showed up. Thank you, Manny. I know it'll take a few minutes for some folks as the um, uh, notification goes out, but that is cool. Marcos, welcome, welcome. Me with knives. Look at that. They're rolling in, ladies and gentlemen. So I have had a long night and be glad. Uh, well, that's too much information. Be glad you can't smell me. That's all. No, I'm just kidding. It is hot here today. It's like 92. And I moved my son, uh, my, my number two son, Tyler, uh, from one apartment to another apartment. And oh, my goodness. Uh, so hooked up the trailer, loaded his stuff, took it over, unloaded it. Brought the trailer back, parked it, got dinner, rushed in here, and here we go. So, Mike K., welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, you guys didn't want to hear that whole story. But anyway, crazy afternoon and evening, and I made it back here just in time. Jeremy Spalding, yes, sir. Good to see you. Glad you are here. Um, and I think, uh, man, it is so cool. There's already 14 of you in here. Uh, JB told me he's going to be coming, but he's going to be rolling in a little bit late. Uh, cause of work craziness and all that upper eighties tell it rain. Yeah. It, let me see what it is right now here. Just out of curiosity, but man, I'm telling you when we were moving that stuff, okay, it's all the way down to 85, but it was 92 earlier and I was just dripping. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Bill Rivers going good, buddy. Thanks for asking. Welcome. I hope it's going well with all you guys. Um, Ethan, how many days is it now, buddy? Till you uh, hit the road and then hit the ship. <laughs> well, you got to do uh, boot camp first. Olivia, welcome. Irish Survival Podcast? It is? I didn't even know I was Irish. I'm Greek, but close enough. So anyway, uh, but I'm glad my son got all moved in. And well, he didn't get all moved in. He's still got a few boxes he's moving and Things like that. Three days Thursday, so I assume you're uh, you're traveling out Thursday, and it starts maybe Friday or Saturday, I guess. Screaming pirate! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Brad has joined us. Welcome, buddy. Uh, good uh, seeing you at Blade Show, and thanks for dropping in. And guys, we'll give it a couple more minutes. We got 21 in here already, which is really really cool. Uh, we will get started in just a moment and do kind of a pocket check. You guys wouldn't believe. Uh, here, I'll give you a little hint. You ready? Boom. Okay, no, that didn't help. But uh, you guys won't believe one of the items that's in the giveaway today. The giveaway uh, is a really good knife and a couple other really good things. So I'm I'm excited about uh, the giveaway that I just kind of literally threw the swag pack together like five minutes ago. So uh, just all kinds of fun and craziness. Uh, unfortunately, probably won't have Trevor coming in and uh, – terrorizing me because he's at work again. Chick-fil-A has got that boy working some hours, let me tell you. Um, hey, I wanted to tell you guys, we talked last week about crossing over 1,500 uh, with the 1,500 subscriber giveaway. We are now over 1,600. That's right. I looked a little bit ago. Let's see. Let's see where we're at right now. Uh, I wanted to say this mostly because I want to welcome any new uh, folks uh, Matt Strader, welcome. Winchester is in the house. Factors of Jack, thank you for coming. Um, we are at 1,608 subs. That is crazy. Um, so you sold the Brian Brown hit Mini Warthog. Uh, I hope you got uh, a good one for that one. That's, that's a good one, man. I, knowing you, you're probably saving up for something else big. So um, 
I'm kind of surprised you. Is that the one you picked up at Blade Show? I don't know. I can't remember, man. I I, I get lost. Um, so yeah, 1600. I mean, it is crazy. Uh, it is great to know so many people are getting on board now. Here's the thing. I'm tired. I'm, I'm st I still think I'm going to close the giveaway tonight. Um, if it seems that a bunch of people during the live say they haven't entered yet, maybe I'll leave it till tomorrow. But, um, I, I think I may close the giveaway after this tonight. I don't know. I'll tell you by the end of this, but in that giveaway, if you haven't entered yet, uh, we have the Finch holiday. Look at that. I got some kind of something on there. We have the Finch holiday in red linen Macarta. If you, uh, let's see, my wife got me a mini Adamas for Father's Day. That's sweet. Very, man, that's a Father's Day right there. So I got, um, I left it upstairs. I, I have, let me just see if I can show this. So um, I already have oh, one of these. I have a, this is an Apache 3800 uh, case from uh, Harbor Freight. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty much full. And it's only not full because there's a couple in my pocket. Um, but uh, my wife got me another one for Father's Day. But I i don't think I'm going to fill it up yet. I have um, i start putting more knives in it yet because I think I have an idea. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys because then somebody else will try it before me. And no, I have this idea that I'm going to try. I'm going to do the pick and pluck and then I'm going to seal it. Uh and, and try to make it a little more sturdy. And then if that works, I'll move all these knives over to that one and then do the same process with this one and uh, then be good to go. So I'll probably do a video on that. Very, very excited. Have I missed anybody else coming in? I hope not. If I have guys, uh, Mark Herrera, welcome, welcome. So yeah, the Red Finch Holiday. This Guys, this thing, I mean, the Finch Holiday is just, just crazy good. It's just a wonderful knife. You can see this one. I talked about it needing some time to break in. It's, it's getting there. Um, I haven't, whoops, I haven't really carried it, only shown it on videos and stuff. So um, just a little bit of work and this one will break in so beautifully. You have a 4,800 and it's full. That is crazy. Um, and then here's this awesome Hank from Mad Pal Clothworks. Maddie is the best guys. I'm, I, I'm not just saying this. She has been so kind. And every time I bought a Hank from her, um, it has just come in in good time and in good shape and with a nice note. She's just a really sweet lady. Check her out. She's got an Etsy store. She's got an Instagram page, uh, Mad Pal Clothworks. Check her out. Um, so I will let you know by the end of the night if I'm going to close this tonight or not. It depends on how tired I feel at the end of the stream. Is that terrible? Uh, okay, cool. So, Brad, you will probably get yours before me then because I haven't gotten a shipping notification. So uh, you will probably have yours before. A, nope, no shipping notification. So, uh, but good. I'm glad they're starting to come out. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the tour knives are on the way. If Vernon shows up in the uh, in the chat again tonight, I'll ask him where mine is. So uh, we'll just, we'll take care of that. But that's, that's cool. Rusty, knife lover Rusty is here. I appreciate you, man. Uh, Form D, look at that. We got Form D in the house. Uh, man, guys, this is great. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Olivia, I'm. Once I get monetized, I'm hoping to to be able to to ship uh, international from time to time. But for now, I'm trying to. Whoa, it's one in the morning. Holy mackerel! Uh, well, thanks for staying up. I usually end up falling asleep during JB's at one in the morning over here where I'm at. Um, uh, Hunter, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I just think um, eventually I will be able to do some over uh, overseas shipping. I just don't think I'm ready for that yet. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm shipping out four or five packages a week. Uh, it's It gets kind of expensive, and I'm just trying to take it easy for now. Um, I did get, an, for those of you wondering... I got another step in the process to be monetized done the other day. So now literally they're just checking my channel to make sure it meets their requirements. Uh, and then I will be there. So said it could take up to a month, but we'll see. Jay Leper Goblicon, welcome. Well, guys, there are 31 people in the house. So let's do the pocket check. If you saw my unboxing today, you know I got the second of the four, man, look at that. You can tell I've been opening packages too. 
Uh, second of the four, um, I'm going to use my cloth here before I cut my finger. Uh, the second of the four damn designs knives, the uh, four budget knives. So this is, I still didn't get it. This is uh, the Invictus in that great grayish blue. Guys, $49. Check that out. Look. Oh, my goodness. Just, I mean, the, it's just great. So you guys have heard if you get a blue one, I think it's blue or um, maybe the jade, you get the, uh, the, the uh, satin finish, which is still beautiful. Uh, if you want the, the stone wash, I think it's black or OD green, if I remember correctly. Um, so, yeah. So, so there you go. Um, guys, don't get ahead of me putting your, uh, well, let's see. We'll read that screen pirate. You got that McNeese Mac, uh, two, 3.5 on you. Very cool. Um, that is cool. And, uh, I'll check everybody else's out in just a minute, but this thing, uh, it came from tier one before me. And I think he put this little lanyard cause guys, this is the epitome of deep carry. Um, that is like ultra deep carry. Check that out. There's Peter. Welcome, buddy. Good to see you. Uh, but it is just great action. Great G10. D2 blade. Really nice finish. For 50 bucks on Amazon. They're coming soon. He's got the notification up there saying they're almost there. Uh, I would go ahead and get in line and be ready to go. So that is... I have my Star Wars Shadowborn Hank today. Uh, I also had, let's see if I can middle finger flick this guy. Yeah, okay. Uh, the banter in the pocket today. Uh, you guys, if you want to see everything I was carrying at once, check out my Instagram post from today. Got the uh, blue Streamlight Micro Stream. I'm going to set all this over here. My uh, Swiss Army knife with the color bars because I love it. And I got the uh, Parker Jotter pin and the Tour uh, multi-tool or EDC tool or whatever you want to call it. Pry bar. Uh, Paul Bessmer, uh, welcome, welcome. You can pre-order. Okay. So, guys, you can pre-order. And then um, uh, Adrian announced the next set of folders yesterday. So, go look at Damn Design's Instagram page. And you can see that. Hey, there's Benjamin. Welcome, buddy. Good to see you. That is awesome. Um, that that is great that you are here. But yeah, I just I just really dig that. So yeah, guys, you can go ahead. And I see people are already starting to put what they're carrying. So go ahead, and I will look at that. So factors that Jack had the artisan sea snake. I love that knife. That is a slicey, crazy slicey knife. Uh, and a good EDC size. I love it. Savivi so Badlands Vagabond. I, I haven't seen one of those, I don't think. Yeah, maybe I did. Uh, Matt Strader, Tucson, Tepe Apex. Uh, or I guess it's Tepe. Uh, I don't know. Um, the Jeremy had the Pilar 3 and, Demon, and the Denim by Carter Work Knife from Rough Rider. Very cool. Jared had the 8010 and the 8015. Oh, no, you're saying... Prime Day deal at 124.59. Okay, so you didn't have those, but you're saying, hey, everybody, check that out. Uh, Jack Wolf, there you go. Nebby Cloud put up uh, ja uh, Benjamin's uh, Instagram. Check him out, guys. He's so awesome. Uh, he ordered the Windingo. I mean, there must be some great deals today, and I haven't looked. Uh, Manny had the 20 CV smock. Very, very cool. Sorry, Marcos. Uh, I don't know where else to post that kind of stuff. Sometimes I post it on the community page. The Max A Samurai for Top Dog. The ZT0562 in Titanium for Form D. Mini Adamas for Mike. Mike got that for Father's Day. Very, very cool. Finch Cimarron and the Victor Knox Tinker for Monster. Very cool. The Cimarron is, you want to talk about action. That thing is great. Viper Storm minus the G10 Minus the G10 bikini scales, okay. Um, there's uh, there's Instagram for Damn Designs. Very cool. Got my sea snake today, carrying it. Scout, okay, that's great. Uh, perfect. And it, and that thing is not going to pooch your shirt out or or any be a problem. It should be great. 
RJ with the Sodbuster Jr. and the Delica. Very cool. Uh, Sog Trident for Paul. Very cool. I jumped again, guys. I'm sorry. I hate when it does that. Cold Steel Spartan for Kyle and Bridget Williams. Kyle, welcome. And Bridget, welcome. And I see a few new names in here tonight, guys. This is super exciting for me. Okay, going back out. Ethan had the Mini Presidio 2 today. Um, okay. Manix 2 Lightweight and Maximum in your pocket today for Bill. Very cool. All right, I think I caught up with everybody there. Let me go back down here now. Uh, the Hogue X5 and Victor Knox Solo for Michael Morgan. Very cool. Hey, Ben, anytime, man. Look who's here, ladies and gentlemen. It is Big Red EDC. Hey there. He had the Kaiser Ursa Minor Father's Day present from Nelly. Very, very cool. And the Wingman EDC uh, Mach 1. Very cool. Trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't think so. So let's see, Benjamin, why don't you tell us what you're carrying, man? You got to have a really cool slip joint with you. <laughs> you better. Uh, Chicago, uh, Tenacious Lightweight and S35 Vienna, Springfield 45 DX. It's getting hot. Yeah, very, very much so. It was hot here today. Uh, Rick, man, it jumped on me again, right as I was getting ready to read Rick's. TRM Adam and Neutron. Very cool. See, that's the thing. We don't have to argue about whether a neutron or atom's better like Kevin keeps trying to do with me. Uh, lefty EDC, they're both great. I just happen to like the bigger knife better. Uh, Factors of Jack just put up a final review of the Sea Snake today. Very cool. Neil Drake. Neil has, oh man, where'd I put it, Neil? Look at that. I was going to show off. Oh, here we go. Neil has this baby, the AD 20.5. Very cool. Me with knives, the K bar BK40, very cool. All right, all right, stop fidgeting now. I'm gonna put it back over here. Uh, let's see what else we got. Have we caught up? Did we get everybody? Man, I hope I did. Hey there, there's Paper Tiger. Hello, hello, hello. Neil, hello. I already said that, but hello again. Um, everybody say hi to JB. Just make him easy at work, make him sit there and type. Everybody's name out. I'm just kidding. Uh, carrying a Brett Doswell custom slip joint, Swayback Jack, Federal Shield, and African Goat Horn. Okay, did I say you'd have something cool, guys? In ele Elephant Ivory, basically. Uh, very cool sounding knife. I'll have to look that one up, but that sounds pretty amazing. And Nebby Cloud put Jack's uh, review of the Sea Snake. I also have one up there, but I did it a while back, so uh, check his out. Uh, that, look, okay, let's not start this argument again, Jared. The tidal wave scales are way better than those emerald scales. I mean, come on. Come on. It, look, just let's see if it'll focus. It's not going to. But, I mean, the, the patterning in there is just beautiful. Yeah. Do you guys, do you guys recognize this hat at all? It's kind of blown out a little bit, but there. But uh, there you go, the big red EDC hat. I think JB likes it. I don't know why he would. Tim Cook, welcome, welcome. C. Lemansky, welcome, welcome. I think I missed you a minute ago, but I, it's very cool. Kyle, just found uh, you as a recommended channel during Blade Show. That is awesome, Kyle. Well, welcome. We, we try to have fun here, man. Wait a minute, Emerald better than Tidal Wave all day. All right. See, you're siding with Lefty now. I, I'm just going to have to ban you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that, but uh, you're wrong. No, I'm just kidding. The, the emerald green are, are beautiful if you really like green, but this tends more toward the blue side, which is more of my thing. Uh, just really, really dig this, but they're, they're both really cool. Uh, well, welcome uh, to all the new folks, guys. There are already 34 people in here. Uh, that is... Really, really cool. Uh, Rise and Grind found me in, in the same video, the, the Blade Show video. Um, there's part of me, guys. I've got so much going on this year. I really want to try to figure out how to get over to um, not siding, just really like green. Okay. Uh, I really want to try to find a way to get to Blade Show West. I just, 
I have my doubts right now if it's going to happen. Just so much going on. And that's the time of the year where work just really goes crazy for me. So even if it was in Atlanta again, I don't know if I'd be able to do it. So I don't know. I, I, I'm not giving up yet. I'm going to try. It just doesn't uh, doesn't feel very likely right now. But that would be cool because I would love to do another video uh, like that. I've kind of got some ideas of some other things to do as well in the near future to do that same kind of video. Um, can you fail? What? No, I don't even have a window down here. I'm in the basement, so I can't, I can fail a flip though. Yeah. He, he does definitely look really disgusted when, when a knife doesn't work the way he wants it to work, doesn't he? So, uh, yeah, guys, I wanted to just point out JB, I think JB don't let me speak out of turn here, but I think he's still got a few of these hats for sale. Uh, hit him up on Instagram or give your email address. I think it's bigrededc at gmail.com. Check, check him out. He can give you the details. He's got a few more of these hats. Um, really, really cool. Uh, digging this hat a lot. It's got, um, well, I don't have another one of the stickers laying here, but it's got the, uh, the knife with the bird sitting there, and I just really dig that. Uh, the Dalika is still my greatest knife yet. Thanks for putting that up. That is hilarious. Um, so the 20.5, let's go ahead and bring it out. So I, I want to, he's got three or four hats left. So if you want one, you better jump on it, guys. Uh, they're going to go quick. So here's the thing about the 20.5. So I've gotten a lot of flack from, again, I don't know why I listen, but from Kevin left the EDC about the shark's foot blade. It doesn't even go all the way out. And there's a gap in the scale here. Yeah, but if you like the blade, and the blade is what you what you like, which is the reason I got this one. I wanted the Warren Cliff blade. I have so many clip points, so many drop points. Sometimes you just want something different in your collection. I'm telling you, though, I've never, well, not yet. Rusty has a uh, AD20 headed my way after Kyle's done with it from uh, DTOM Knives and Gear. Uh, you're right, Rusty. It's the best hat ever. Um, and so which is better Dalika? Okay. I'm going to clear this up. Dalika all the way. Shadow Ranger is good for one thing and that's for being destroyed. That is the only thing this knife is good for. Um, uh, I encourage everyone who has one to go smash it with the cinder block. Is that, is that terrible? But anyway, so, uh, let's see, John Rost, I'll be in and out, but super glad to be here. Glad to have you, buddy. Glad you're here. So, um, the thing about this one is, again, this, I've said this several times. You get the whoops. You get the middle finger flick if you don't screw it up. You've got the middle finger flick with the thumbs. Oh, look. Okay, don't do it on camera. There we go. Um, and then you got the thumb both ways. You've got just flicking it like the what's it? The button lock dance here. Uh, so you got so many ways to flick it. Uh, again, I want to see the twenty. But everybody has said that the shark lock is just as good on this. The action is just as good as this on the 20. Now, I don't know about you guys. Um, I've not spent, the most I've spent on a knife so far is about 250 bucks. <laughs> uh, because I'm a tightwad. Um, eventually, sure. I held a Holt Spectre the other day. And I will have a Holt one day. Um and I held uh, uh, Arius. I mean, I will have some of those one day, but not yet. And so here's the thing. $450 20.0, which is bigger than this, or $150 one of these. Now, I've heard a lot about the Austin Steel and the Grivery. The Grivery does not bother me at all. I got to tell you guys, it's a good grip. I don't mind a plastic handle. You've seen I've been talking about my uh, my dragonfly here. Look, it's perfect. Look right through it. Um, I don't have a problem with plastic scales. I mean, I have a, I have a pair of three lightweight. I have a Manix two lightweight. Whoops. If I grab the right thing, you know, I have no problem with plastic handle scales. So, um, I don't, I don't have a problem. And the Aus 10 a, and again, it's important to say a, Aus 10A is a better steel than Aus 8 or Aus 6 or even Aus 10. It's it's a good steel. Um, 
big got a big 11 inch blade in the post today a review it on my podcast very cool olivia that is awesome i'll have to uh check that out that is awesome but i am going to um to put my review up of this guy very soon um i have had a crazy couple of weeks and i am behind on reviews uh i wanted to already have it up but if you want uh to see my thoughts on it uh, my um, first impressions video is out there, and I think it's pretty clear that I love this knife. I love the grip. I love the fact that you can choke up. Uh, did I kind of go off on that knife? Yeah, I did. But thanks for asking. Um, I, I I think this is going to be a humongous seller for the Demco guys. Um, I, I just do. Uh, made in Taiwan, made wherever. I It doesn't matter. It's a well-made knife. Uh, the stone wash on the blade, if if I didn't have so much finger goo on there, um, man, I have issues with that, don't I? Um, but, you know, the stone wash on it and everything else is just so beautiful, guys. I mean, it is just a super well done knife. So um, the next, this time next week, I'll be driving back to a condo from Smoky Mountain Knife Week. So stoked. Very cool, John. It's one of my favorite places to go. Plan at least, at least two hours, but tell the wife about it. If she goes with you about an hour in to go somewhere and go shopping and come back for you. <laughs> uh, when it drops, my wife said I could go ahead and drop the money. There you go. Very cool. Um, you know, the Smoky Mountain Knife Works is just a great place. Uh, hope to go back there very soon. Again, life is just so nutso right now. I don't know when that'll be, uh, but I hope sooner rather than later. Uh, he's going to buy them out, yeah. wonder what it would take to buy out every knife they got in there. I don't want to think about it. So, JB's asking a really good question here, guys. So, here's the thing, JB. Here's my problem with that question. I thought the same thing. Do we think Dimco has told Cold Steel to go away? So... I have one issue with that. So this was made in Taiwan, and many believe it was made in the same factory that makes a lot of the cold steel knives that he designed for cold steel. So if he told them to buzz off, I don't know if he would have been able to get these made at that same factory. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know for sure whose factory it is, if cold steel owns it or somebody else. Uh, let's see. I'm a type what two man. I'm up to 300. I love knives. You know, I just, yeah. It, it, it ejects shells exactly right you know and i don't even have a lot of uh those things not gonna say that because youtube's trying to monetize me here i don't have many of those that cost over 500 either so um you know i i don't know jb i think there is definitely something going on and i think maybe he told them i'm gonna make my own knives i'm not making any for y'all right now i i think that is definitely the case but I don't, I don't know. It's really weird. They are done big red, according to Andrew. Okay. So Andrew said that? Wow, I did not hear that. He, I knew he said a few things at Blade Show, um, but I, I don't feel comfortable because it, it, it felt a little unsure still because people were asking that question uh, quite a bit. Um, the ownership has changed, allowed Demco some freedom. And he's using the same business connections. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what he's doing. Uh, and you can't blame him. Now, here's the thing. Um, the technology of the Shark Luck is is unlike anything, guys. I mean, now, there's others that have done something similar to this, but nothing this fidgety and crazy. So, I mean, he's got something here. Um, no, I agree with you, JB. I, I, this is a great topic to talk about. Um, so, I, I think... It will be very interesting to know uh, what the next thing is. Because I think what's going to happen right now is he, they're, they're probably going to come out with a bunch of these, both the Clip Point and the Shark's Foot. And they're going to come out with a pile of these, and they're going to sell like crazy. Um, so the next thing is you know, keeping that just as a stock item for a while and then figuring out what they're going to do next. So I think it's going to be really cool. Nick Martino, welcome, welcome. Brandon Y, welcome. Hey, I didn't want to say it either. Oh, yeah. No, I, I agree, Brandon. I uh, A couple weeks ago when my son came in and uh, flung 
Nerf projectiles at me. Uh, people were warning me to be careful what I was saying. So uh, that's hilarious. Um, so so anyway, uh, I love the knife. So thank you for asking. Um, and I also love my Adam. I've never owned an Adam until I got this one at Blade Show. Um, for those of you that are wondering, because I keep hearing this, I, I know some people like a knife to be um, the exact size of their hand. I've, I've heard that a lot lately, that people saying that this knife is too big and they prefer the, the Neutron. Okay, so my first point of view is, number one, I like both. And there are so many sizes and shapes of knives. If, if you guys look at this case I held up a minute ago, if you look back here, okay, up front there, there's a ton of really big knives, and in the middle there's big ones. But what do you see in the back? Lots of little small knives, okay? And so um, I just think all knives for all people. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to sit here and pick. I only like big knives. I only like small knives. Um, I like all of them. Uh, but for me, if I have to pick one between the Neutron and the Atom, it's the Atom. Because now I've got room to choke back if I want to. I've got room to do a different grip. Like so, I excuse me, I just ate. Oops. Um, and so, yeah, I just, you like that monster? I'm sorry. Um, my collection videos are already live, though, so I don't feel too bad. Uh, I've already put them out there. Yeah, all knives matter. That's beautiful. So, you know, I just think, and, and again, you saw what I was carrying today. And I, I just want to be clear. I mean, again, I had one of each, a small one and a larger knife with me today. And that's typically what you will see me carry. Um, and some days I'll have a little slip joint with me instead of one of these. I don't have a lot of slip joints. Ben, uh, if, if Benjamin's still here, he knows we talked about it. I have a few uh, Rough Riders and a couple of Bucks. And uh, watch my uh, traditional knife collection video and you'll see what I got. But um, eventually I need to get uh, some more slip joints. And when Ben's knives come out, I will definitely uh, be looking to pick one of those up um and uh oh i know you are a monster i'm just messing with you man i just i i like a care package very cool olivia that's awesome they're nice they're really good people cut back on the prune juice no prune juice this is water i'm drinking like crazy because i was out sweating like crazy moving my son and i'm like hot and everything else so Ryan, my answer is for me. Um, okay, but let's have a conversation because I was about to say something. I was about to say it felt too small, but I'm loving on the dragonfly. So the baby banter is probably very similar size wise to the dragonfly. So here's the banter and here's the dragonfly. Um, I would say that the baby banter is about like that. Now, here's the thing. Why do why do I like the dragonfly? The reason. Thank you, Olivia. I appreciate it. Uh, hey, get some sleep. <laughs> it's like 1.30 in the morning over there. Um, but uh, this this guy, the reason I like it is Spyderco just understands ergonomics. Having this choil up here, having the pinch grip, guys. I mean, this is now a comfortable grip with two fingers. If you want to put all the rest of these over here, I can cut with this. Now, I don't. But now, if I want to put all four fingers here... I got plenty of room. So the baby banter is just like that. So if you like that, um, the baby banter is probably very, very similar uh, to this guy. So uh, I just, I don't know. I only got to hold it for a couple minutes. I would have to actually use it. Yeah, guys, Andrew, if you guys, thank you, Andrew. If you guys look back, I did a traditional uh, collection video. I did a fixed blade collection video. I did a hole opening collection video, a thumb stud collection video, collection video, and, and a flipper collection video. So check those out. Uh, flipping your small, your damn designs. Uh, I, I don't even know how to say this. Is it just gin? Uh, yeah, it, it, they are. They're very small, but they're very, very good. So, um, Sorry, guys, trying to keep up with the comments, not doing a very good job. Uh, the XL gin in the mail today. Very cool, JB. I can't wait to see that. Um, hey, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. I was giving you crap while ago for 
uh, for your views on this knife, uh, Lefty. Uh, you can, if you're going to say anything bad about this knife, then you can just go away. No, I'm just kidding. Just messing with you. But again, I think the baby banter is going to be very similar size wise to the, to this. Now it's straight. So this guy, again, I think the reason this one is so good for me ergonomically is because it has that extra room in that pistol style grip for my fingers to get like this. I think the baby banter felt a little bit smaller to me. Um, I just think Spyderco just understands ergonomics. And I know Kevin, speaking of Kevin, he doesn't really like the Manix 2, and I get it. But to me, the reason I love this, guys, is this grip. I've got this big honking blade out here, uh, all kinds of room out here. Now, I know if Peter's still here, he's going, it's not huge. Um, carried my Neutron today. Love it. <laughs> Adam sucks. Gatorade rules. Whatever, dude. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's the uh, the eye hole again there. But um, I just think Spider could just get Zergo. So, I don't know. I, I, I will leave my um, my opinion of the baby banter out there until I actually get time uh, to, um, to 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 yeah, to feel it in hand longer than two minutes. There were so many people at the Civivi table. Literally, it was like I had to beat my way through to even get my hands on it for a minute. Um, Yo, know, Jimbo, too. I still haven't seen one of those, Nick, but I've heard it's it's pretty daggone good. And I like the way the um, Cried, why am I going to the shaman felt in my hand, except the scales being a little bit slick for me. Um, lefty in the house. Exactly. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of digging on this guy, guys. I really thought when it first came in, I actually held it up to my wife and said, you want a purse knife? I mean, because I bought it for, what, 94 bucks when all was said and done, the crew wear version. Um and I said to my wife, you want a purse knife? But the more I carry this, uh, the more I I really like carrying it. It's been a really good fifth pocket. It's really capable. It's super thin and slicey. Um, and here's the thing. The same reason I don't like the Delica is the reason I like this. So I know I'm going to get crap for that. I, I don't like the Delica because the Delica feels like a bit of a larger knife and should actually have a little bit of heft to it. Um, you know, and, and it's so light, it just, just don't care for it. Um, but this guy being so small and just being a tiny little blade that I can punch in and open a package, cut, you know, some tape or whatever. Uh, I'm really digging this knife. Um, let's see what's Kevin saying now. Got to come up with a nickname. Okay. Come up with a nickname. I, I, you're, you're good at those nicknames, except I came up with Detent Diva. Let's just remember that. Um, <laughs> I want to try the Manix 2 since I got the Manix 2 XL. Uh, still, if you guys look back, my favorite spider coat knives in my collection, which is hard to say because I have this great PM2 and M390. Um, my favorite, uh, you know, spider coats are literally both of my Manix 2s. I just love the ergos of them. It is, I have not tried the man bug. That one's even smaller, isn't it? Um, but this guy, I have beat this G10 Manix up. Um, you can see the patina on that blade. I have used and abused this guy. I've taken it to work and used it. Uh, it probably, no, it's, it's still got a good edge on it. I need to strop it. But other than that, it is good. So dig this knife, dig all both of my Manix 2s. Kind of wish I had gotten the the lightweight, um, the green one that came out a little while ago. That thing looked pretty cool. So I uh, thought spider coats were trash until I actually put hands on them. Now I have six. That's cool, Brandon. Very cool. Um, so, yeah, big Manix 2 fan. So I wanted to show another blade um, here. JB sent this along from the Apex. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry. Getting confused. This came from JB. So this came from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, JB sent this along for me to check out. This is the uh, Highball XL from Kershaw. Um, I actually really dig this one, guys. The action, uh, it's a dropper, um, and it is really good with the middle finger flick. Uh, no problems for me whatsoever. Uh, nice, smooth action. I think this is like a $50 knife. Um, 
Oh, they took they. I didn't see that. Uh, they they took uh, on the edge down for a while. Uh oh, what did Kevin say this time? Uh, okay, I see Kevin. I guess it's better that I don't have the ability to show videos and things like that because I'd probably get myself in trouble. But I love the blue accents. I uh, really, really do um, love the blue accents over here. But again, you can really get into this guy and, you know, you can really middle finger, middle finger flick it really well uh, because of that slit, uh, that slot right here, fuller, whatever you want to call it. Really, really cool. Um, so I am very excited to carry and review this one. I've already carried it a couple of days already. Uh, came in at the same time uh, this hat did. So, JB, thanks so much uh, for sending this one along. Um, I don't have a lot of newer um, uh, Kershaws. As a matter of fact, I don't think there's hardly any in my box up here because uh, they're in another case upstairs. But as soon as I get my uh, second Harbor Freight case done, uh, they'll be in there. But, uh, yeah, it's it's just a really cool knife. I, you know, I, I didn't, I haven't liked some of the more recent Kershaw's, but I really am digging on this one. Something about it right off the bat spoke to me. I actually like the gray finish on this one. I just think it's, I think it's clean and, and nice. So, um, you can get, Mannixes are usually less, just less than a hundred bucks. Uh, take a look. Let's see. I would respond to that, Casey. But you don't want me to do that in your comments. Let's just say we corrected the issue, and YouTube graciously allowed to keep us up. Okay, all right, I, I'm okay, brother. You say what you need to say, uh, but I appreciate it if it was uh, something you probably shouldn't say. Um, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, I mean it's it's a pretty knife. I really appreciate JB's clapping there. Uh, really appreciate him sending it. Uh, you know, like I said, you just gotta kind of pick and choose with some of these makers from time to time. We all talk uh, crap about CRKT from time to time, but I love the, the Pillar 3. Uh, I've had some things to say about Kershaw from time to time, but I absolutely love this highball. Um, I, I think it's really cool. So uh, be looking for the review on that one fairly soon. Um, got some, got some, uh, I was about to do my review on the field trekker from Monterey Bay Knives, and uh, man, that thing is so shiny. Um, and I talked to a couple people today, and I've decided I'm gonna do an outdoors review with this one. I'm gonna um, do some feather sticking and some basic outdoor stuff. I was a little worried at first because it does have this really light set and finish. You might as well say it's a mirror finish, uh, but just look at that hollow. Uh, grind on this thing, guys, or I think they call it convex. Uh, so, it's, yeah, you can see it there. So it's really not hollow. It's convex. Um, and I am very excited to go take this one outside and and uh, do some feather sticking and skin some bark and maybe chop a couple of small limbs. But uh, I was going to just do just a basic in the house review, but it just didn't feel right. But I also didn't want to scratch it up. But I've now cleared that with the pass around group. So I'm going to be careful with it, uh, but I'm going to give it a little character and uh, not going to do like I did with the uh, <laughs> with the poor uh, Shadow Ranger at all. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of, um, let's see. Yeah, John carries that field tracker all the time. Uh, that, By the way, I should have probably rem uh, texted John because he fussed at me last week. Uh, that I didn't remind him whose limbs are you chopping. The ones in my backyard, if you've watched any of my recent videos, everyone comments on my backyard. I got about a two-acre backyard lined with trees, so I got plenty of limbs out there on the ground that have already fallen that I can go out and, uh, hey, there's Jason Brown. Hey, Jason, that's great, man. That's all, and I, I hope all you guys had a great Father's Day with your kids. I know I did. Mine all came around. Uh, my kids still all live here in town, all four of them, but it was great to have them all under one roof. And uh, uh, the boys and I went and played some uh, disc golf last night. Um, by the time we got through the first six holes, it was almost pitch black, but we kept on playing for a little while. But, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, 
but yeah, I'm really digging on this guy. I mean, I I can't wait. I'm going to do the review in the next couple of days, probably uh, take it out uh, side and uh, do some really basic stuff with it. And we'll see how it does. It'll give me something a little more exciting. Now, we'll tell you guys, I really dig the way this leather sheath is made and the way the knife sits in it. Um, the dangler is so high up on the knife that that's all you have sticking up above your belt. And to me, that's awesome. Um, now, I know it'll stick down below your shirt tail. And for some of you guys in some of the places you live, that's probably not a great idea. Around here, nobody cares. So, um, you know, it's fine for me. I carry it, especially when I'm in the woods. Um, and I think it's a really nice, uh, Jason, are you leaving again? Did I miss that? I only read part of your comment. I guess I should have read that. Oh, we'll have to watch later. Okay. Jason, I hope you have a good one, man. And, uh, guys, your kids are always first. Your family's always first. I get it. And it should be that way. Yeah. Kershaw seems to have really had some really nice knives this year for sure. Very, very cool. So, um, we're starting to wind down. We've got a few more minutes here. Uh, but, um, oh, I wanted to mention a couple things real quick. Uh, let's see. Got to get back to work. Okay, JB. I uh, hope you have a good good one. Stay safe. Uh, cut some rope with whatever knife you got. Well, don't cut the rope if it's in use. But anyway, um, corny jokes. Dead jokes. Um, so uh, two things. Number one. Um, again, remember the tour, tour knives guys. I heard, uh, screaming pirates said earlier that he got the shipping notification today. They said there's going to be more of the folders that are out of stock. Thank you, Nebby cloud. And if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, thank you to all of my, um, patrons that are in the chat and the ones that aren't guys. I mean, it, it has been such a relief to be able to go ship stuff. And not have to worry about it so much. I was shipping so much stuff. My wife was like, holy cow. Um, it has really helped a lot to have those patrons. And I am so thankful for each and every one of you. Uh, Tour Knives, if you use the, the code KnivesFast to check out, you get 10% off. Um, and I really appreciate them doing that. Uh, again, uh, the folders are coming. They're going to have a second round of folders in the middle of July um there's still chasms in stock uh if you haven't seen i think it's wednesday there let me see if i can find this crazy thing they are coming out uh with a cryptea which is one of their uh fixed blades um coming out with a cryptea in um blood red i think it's g10 it's hard for me to tell uh from what i saw but if you look there you see that crazy, sorry for the glare. Oh, come on. What is happening? Hold on. I'm going to find a better picture. Maybe I'm not. There it is. Okay, so there you go. Blood red scales on that uh, Cryptea. It's black and blood red. It's just super, super cool. I'm sorry for the glare. Not doing too well here, but there you go. And look at that. A dream within a dream within a dream. I know I'm weird. And then the last thing I wanted to mention again, some of you have asked, I just want to be clear. Urban EDC Supply uh, has some great stuff coming up. Uh, they approached me. When did I order that chasm? I emailed them today about it, but I think they said two weeks. You ordered it um, two Thursdays ago. And I think they've just started shipping today and I think tomorrow. So I think you're good. Bees Blades, Welcome. Um, so Urban EDC Supply reached out to me, guys, and I'm now an affiliate with them. And the way that works is, unfortunately, I was not able to work it out because of the way they do drops um, where you guys get a discount or you get a, um, uh, a free shipping or anything like that. Uh, basically, if you use the link that's in the descriptions of all my videos, uh, I get a kickback. And I'm, I'm being honest. Just like JB with Big Red e with Big Red EDC for Smoky Mountain Knife Works, when anybody purchases anything on Urban EDC under my link, uh, I'm going to take that commission and I'm going to turn that into knives, knives to review and then give away. So um, basically, that'll be my way of giving you guys something. Uh, if you see something and you want to purchase it there, they've got pry bars, 
They had the Lynch Northwest special last week. Uh, they've got all kinds of stuff. And if you guys are interested in what they've got, I think there's the link right there. And if you follow that link and you buy anything on the site, I get it. Like I said, I'll get a kickback and I'll use it to buy knives. They're going to have more drops coming up. And I think that is cool. I'll use your link when I get that. Yeah, that bit driver looks really cool too. And that's the thing. If you see something you like elsewhere, look, they may have it. And what they've been doing a lot of the times is they really do like the Lynch Northwest uh, the the uh, all access pass they did had some really cool anodization and stuff on it, so it's really cool to see uh, kind of what what they have and they have some cool knives coming out as well. Again, I'll keep working on trying to get you guys a discount, but in the meantime, that'll be the way uh, this works, and I I think that'll work really really well. And I hope you guys think so too. All right, so let's do a giveaway. Man, I have lost. I had a uh, card sitting right here. I, Lord, I would swear that if my, uh, there we go. If my butt wasn't hung on me, I'd lose that too. Uh, key bar. Yeah, they do some really awesome stuff too. Yeah, the all access pass went really quick. It really did. All right. So what do we have? We have 42 people in here. So we're going to do. All right, guys, we're going to do a giveaway. I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'm not going to write my number down yet, but I'm going to show you what we've got now. I told you at the start, we have a really good giveaway tonight. So um, the guys from uh, Revo Knives reached out to the community. Uh, I just recorded my review on this, and it will be coming in the next few days. Uh, but I am really, really excited to be giving away the Revo Nest tonight. Again, this Nest Muck style blade with that great uh, stonewash, really cool uh, carbon fiber scales. Great. Hey, there you go, Dennis. Hey, uh, KF Boston. Welcome, welcome. Um, so yeah, the Revo Ness will be our giveaway knife tonight. Uh, all belly all the time is the theme of this knife. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, hit the like button, please, guys. That would be really great. Um, it comes in this great uh, magnetic uh, Revo box. Uh, tells you right here what the knife is. Not that you can. There we go. Uh, there you go. The Revo Ness uh, has uh, the Revo sticker in there and a Revo like a, a book of all their stuff. Sticker looks like such. Very very cool. Did I hold that backwards? Uh, the second thing. There's there's three things tonight, guys. So stay tuned. I got something cool. My wife. Not only did she think of me for Father's Day, uh, she and my daughter thought of you guys for Father's Day. How crazy is that? Charlie, welcome. So we have uh, Butter Knives Fast number eight. Uh, there you go. Number eight with my signature and Mr. Trevor's signature there. You got all kinds of stickers. You got the uh, Knives Fast stickers, both of those. Uh, you got a Spyderco and a Big Red EDC, River's Edge Cutlery. Got the Dylan Mallory Zombie sticker. Love that sticker. HEA, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Okay, guys, I finally did it. I'm giving away my favorite Tour Knives sticker. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't want to give this away. I love this sticker. V Vern, where are you, buddy? I need another one of these stickers. This is my favorite, but I'm going to put it in there. It's going in the giveaway pack. Got a Hogue sticker. Got a Blade sticker. Shark Lock. Artisan Cutlery. Sharper Things. Got a, a, a Mule sticker. Mule a Coaster. I mean, guys, and a Protect sticker. So, so much stuff in this swag pack. It is crazy. Uh, how much stuff is in here? Look at that. I don't know. Ooh, stickers. Exactly. Collectible butter knife. Uh, somebody the other day was talking about trying to figure out how to make a holster for the, for the butter knives fast. <laughs> so I thought that was hilarious. Um, yeah, that, uh, rise and grind with Duke. You love that, huh? Those tour stickers are awesome. All right. So here's a surprise guys. You guys know these guys over here. Thanks to Jason Brown are my mascot friends, Ren and Stimpy and powder toast, man. My wife got me some socks for Father's Day. And my daughter says to her, how cool would it be 
to buy some extras to give away on the channel. So guys, I have pairs of socks over here in a bag. I probably have like 10 or 12 pairs of socks. So it won't go on forever, but for the next few giveaways, however many it is, uh, here we go. Ren and Stippy socks. Check it out, guys. How stinking, well, they're not stinking because they haven't been worn yet, but how great is that? Uh, so my wife has hooked you guys up. I, I did. I got the Ren and Stippy socks for Father's Day. So there are there's a variety of them, but these are the ones we're giving away. Next week, we'll probably have these uh, with Stippy on one side. Oh, come on. I haven't opened them. But anyway, there's Ren on there too somewhere. But uh, those will be next week. But for this week, we have these cool Ren and Stippy socks. Uh, and if you don't like socks, then I'm sorry. Grateful Panic is here. Welcome, John. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I, everybody was being too nice to me, so it's time. John's here, everybody. Here we go. I Yeah, leg and foot review soon. <laughs> exactly. Zach, welcome, buddy. Jason L., welcome. Yeah, I mean, come on. The wife, the wife was thinking about you guys. I don't, I don't know if that is good or bad. Uh, it kind of scares me. So yeah. So again, we have what did I do with the knife? Here we go. The Revo Ness uh, with the Revo box. We have the awesome, awesome swag pack uh, with all of the stickers. And uh, hey, if any of you guys with channels are out there, I'm starting to uh, run low on channel stickers. You'll notice a lot of these are from companies. Uh, if you guys want to send me some to give away, uh, some of you guys that have before, I will take them. Uh, just got off work. Uh, Zach, I hope that uh, work is going well this week and everything. That is great. Work socks, exactly. And they're they're not cheap, cheesy little socks. These are actually really nice socks. So, uh, so yeah, that's what we're giving away today. So, uh, we're going to do the same way we always do this. I'm going to put everything over here so I don't lose it and uh yes you said your wife was thinking about me <laughs> why did i know when i said that that john was gonna say something uh okay fine jack get you some stickers man and send me some come on i need some more lefty edc stickers i need some more zach stuff stickers i need some more dtom knives and gear stickers i need i i just need uh, i'm kidding but um, there we go. So uh, that's what that is. And let's get started here. So the deal is we're going to do numbers. I'll give you a range. I'll have NebuCloud put up uh, the start. I'll give you the range. Uh, one guess per person. And for now, we're going to do Continental U.S. shipping address. Closest without going over is our winner. Um, and guys, that's it's. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Um, Jared Patina Bridges. Okay, I guess I missed that one. Um, and uh, Brother Panic. I like it. Brother Panic. That's a good name for you, John. That is perfect. Um, so uh, I will stop flipping whoever's knife this is um, in just, just a second here, and we will do a range. So uh, we are still – oh, we're, we went over now. So I'm going to go a little bit longer with the uh, range because we're over 50 now. Very cool. And I'm scribbling. All right. So let's see. Let's go with. All right. Uh, I was going to have Trevor pick the number tonight, but he is not back from work yet. So he is not. All right, Nebby Cloud. Let's see some start on the screen and then we will. Yeah, the dad bod blade. That's perfect. That's what this is, the belly blade, the dad bod blade. That is perfect. Uh, 12 people still haven't hit the like button. Whoever you are, feel guilty and go hit it. Um, all right, so here we go. I almost showed you the wrong side. So tonight's range is 300 to 425. 300 to 425. One guess per person. Let them roll. Let's see those guesses closest without going over one guest per person. Continental U.S. shipping address. And have some fun, guys. Let's see it. Between 300 and 425.
five. Let's see those guesses roll. And I got to look back at my numbers so I know what I'm looking for. Da, 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 da. All right. I see a couple of close ones there. Oh, some really close ones. Da, da, da. Okay. So um, any other questions while we're doing this? If anybody has them, I'll try to answer them or we all hang around after the fact. Uh, we're already at the nine o'clock mark. Savannah Rose, welcome. I don't think I said hello to you. There's Ben's guest. Very cool. Misty, welcome. And uh, glad to see you're Del Delia Rose. Lots of new names in here tonight, guys. Delilah Rose. I can't read, apparently. Um, very, very cool. Welcome, everybody. Da, 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 da. Still got, how do you like the nest? So, Dennis, I really dig this knife. The only, the only knock I gave this one in the review was you have to make sure you get it past that detent. And the thing is, is the flipper lands on your thumb and then there's still a little bit of detent left. Um, but once you get it past that detent, it just drops. The blade is real. I mean, look at that. It's all full flat ground. Great blade, great ergos. I'm digging the thing. It is a really nice knife. Um, can you show the red standoffs? See if my camera, there you go. So it has got uh, red, there you go, red barrel spacers there. Really, really nice. And your lanyard hole is in the liners, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I, I dig it. The only other thing I said, and again, it wasn't a knock for me, but it would be for some of you, is there's no skeletonization in there. So it is, I think it's close to five ounces, if I remember correctly. Uh, would have been nice to get it just slightly, um, uh, you know, lighter. Again, I don't care. It's fine for me. It carried fine. Carried fine. Didn't mind. Hey, Pro X, welcome. Um, well, you can guess it's between uh, three, 300 and 450. Is that what I said? 300 and 425. 300 and 425. Sorry about that. Um, you know, I, I still haven't looked nebuclad for some blue butter knives, but I need to. Uh, see that the D bad preacher coming soon. Very cool. I saw another question up here. Oh no. Jack is saying six subs away from a thousand guys. Go check out factors of Jack. That's cool. Get him, get him over a thousand so he can do a cool giveaway. Evil E is here. Welcome buddy. Good to see you, man. This is a great night guys. I am really glad all of you are here. Great pro X. Glad it's going well. Da, da, da. All right, so I think I think everybody is gone. I'm gonna give it. Let's give it another thirty seconds here, uh, and then we will close it out and go from there. Sorry, I've been drinking so much tonight, but I I literally I got so hot moving moving my son that. Uh, Thought I was going to pass out there for a minute. Um, oh, I was about to read Jack's comment and then he he deleted it. So he'll he'll redo it in a minute. Going well, Eva Lee. Going really good. Good to see you. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> big big perm. No, it's big worm. John John's always picking on everybody. John, do you have a nickname for everybody? I think he does. Yeah, I. You know, I don't know what it is. We call his mattress. He's got one of these foam mattresses, and I call it the Jello mattress because literally, it, it was so hard to pick up. We're carrying it down all these stairs and then back up a bunch of stairs, and it's just like wiggling everywhere. And I'm like, "This is awful. I got to get out of this heat." Thankfully, his new apartment is really cool. They have the air conditioner nice and low. Uh, and, uh, it was good. So that's good. All right. Let's go ahead and put that stop up on the screen there. Mr. Nebby cloud, if you would, please. And we will go from there. Bye Felicia. Are you leaving? Who's leaving? John, you can't leave. You just got here. So I don't even know what my nickname is. Cause John calls me like 10 different things. Baldy, Kevin, Carl, whatever. I don't know. He's got a whole list of them. Um, well now Eva Lee guessed after the stop. Eva Lee, did you already have another guest or was that your only one? I have to decide whether I want to allow that. 
<laughs> no, we'll allow it. It's fine. Um, all right. So here we go. No more. I'm cutting it right there. All right. No more niceness. So our number that I wrote down is, whoops, upside down, 403. And I got to be honest, I was talking and didn't really pay attention. So Nebby Cloud, if you want to help me, let's go back and see what we've got here. Going back to the beginning, closest without going over. Get my notebook out here. Da, da, da. You guys will find it before I do. You always do. There's a 402 for John Rost. Let's see if anybody got right on. If not, John might be our winner. Let's see what else we got. 407, 400 for Misty. So close, Misty. So close. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Oh, Calder and I totally, I hope you got to guess because I totally missed your question there. I was too busy talking. You did. All right. Good. That's what happens when I get talking, guys. All right, I think, all right, unless anybody sees anything different, I think John Rost is the man here. It's 402, just one off. Dang, 20 off as usual. Mike, didn't you say that when we started? That was hilarious. Uh, wait a minute, Eva Lee, you can't, <laughs> you can't be guessing again, man. Come on. Oh, you're telling everybody the number. Okay, I'm just messing. All right, John Ross is our winner. John, uh, you've been watching. You should know the deal. The deal is send me an email at knivesfast at gmail.com or go over to um, uh, Instagram and DM me at knivesfast. So, guys, John, congratulations so much. John, Mike, maybe you should add or subtract 20 from what you think you're going to guess. I don't know. I'm just saying. So the Revo Ness, the awesome first pair of Rin and Stimpy socks, which have not been worn, and the great Butter Knives Fast, and uh, the awesome sticker swag are heading your way, John Ross. You just send me that stuff, and we will get them out to you. So, all right, I promised that I would make a decision by the end of the live stream. So here's the deal. Uh, I am going to give it like 15 minutes, guys, and I'm going to go over and close and draw a winner on the 1,500 subscriber giveaway. So <laughs> you needed new socks. That's funny. So if you have not entered the 1,500 subscriber giveaway, go over to the Knives Fast channel right now. Go over to my channel, Knives Fast, with this channel you're on right now. And uh, let's see. Hey, Casey, I want to guess next time. I don't want to just pop. Oh, that's fine, Pro X. I, I actually think that's cool. I've done that same thing before. When I come in on one, I don't guess uh, either. So I appreciate that. Um, if you guys, uh, Jeremy's already planning on it being his Finch holiday. Uh, if you guys have not guessed, you have not entered yet, literally 15 minutes, I'm going to go over there. I'll write up in the, just up in the uh, title. It'll say entries closed. And then I will go and draw a winner and post that as soon as I can. So um, thanks so much for watching, guys. This was a fun one. Uh, I think it was a record setter. I'll look afterwards. I didn't see what the final uh, highest number, but I saw it going over like 53, 54, I think. Uh, so that is sweet. Uh, thanks for – I look, I love those of you that come and go. I get it. That's how life is. Zach knows I come in and out of his live stream a lot because Sundays are pretty – busy family days for me. JB knows I come to the first 15 minutes and then I pass out uh, and go to sleep. So uh, really appreciate any any time you guys want to spend in here uh, with me. It's a lot of fun. Average knife guy. Yeah, you missed the giveaway. We just finished. Uh, but if you haven't entered the 1500 subscriber knives fast giveaway, you got about 15 minutes uh, to go over and enter. I'm going to close it very soon. Factors of Jack needs one more sub for a thousand. One more person go over, find uh, Factors of Jack and hook that guy up. Uh, and uh, I appreciate everyone. And uh, John Rost, if you want to just send me, 
uh, all that. We will take care of you, brother. Uh, so thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a comment. If you didn't do a thumbs up, go do it real quick. And uh, look for plenty of good reviews coming this week. Uh, lots coming your way. Thanks so much, guys, uh, for everyone coming. Jason L., thank you. Um, and, uh, guys, if you're not subscribed, tons of, tons of fun coming your way. So thanks for everything. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.